Thank you for tuning in to the reading produced by Black Spectrum Network. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get the latest updates on this channel. You can purchase a private psychic reading by going to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com. If you want spiritual guidance to learn how to work with your ancestors or you're interested in deepening your spiritual experiences, then subscribe to our Patreon. You can get these and other videos at least one week ahead of their YouTube release date. That's patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network. Okay, so I want to let you all know that in this pick a card reading, these are the three, these are the three archetypes that you can choose from, okay? Um, but before you choose it, before I even tell you what the archetypes are, I need to just make a few suggestions um, for you all. Um, uh, these are ritualistic or ceremonial practices that I want you all to perform before you watch this video so that you can get the most out of it. What I want you to do is I want you to perform a head cleansing or a head blessing ritual, okay? So if you are not familiar with that or what it is, then you need to start reading at page 57 of Iyanla Van Zant's Tapping the Power Within. So um, to perform a head cleansing ritual, my suggestion, which is different than the one that's presented in the book, is to cleanse your head using Florida water, and you're going to take the Florida water, rub it in your hands, and then you're going to rub your forehead, you're going to rub the, the your neck, the front, the side, the back, you're going to rub behind your ears, and you may even smell, you know, sniff into the palm of your hands, okay? And then after that, you're going to light a tea light candle. Now, meanwhile, you're doing, now while you're doing this entire process, okay, you're setting your intentions to have a clear mind and a clear head, okay? Because you're trying to cleanse your consciousness and you're trying to cleanse your ori, all right? So if you have a clear head and a clear mind, you'll get the most out of this video. Now, with that being said, you're going to light the tea light candle so that you can set your intentions. So set your intentions to get that man, set your intentions to make that money or say, hey, I want ten dollars. Ancestors bring me forty dollars. Ancestors give me the most important help to help me to download the most powerful interpretation of the this message that I'm about to receive from this video, okay? All right, so to explain the archetypes, the first archetype is the witch. The witch represents a magician, okay? The, the witch represents a magician. This is for someone that's interested in working with herbs, working with oils, potions, animals, or even blood to do their spiritual work okay to make things happen you're going to change you're going to use these you're going to use na things that are made from the earth things that are or even made from man or that come from a human being to change the cosmos and create a reality that you want okay and you are on a journey to understand how to work with your left and your right hand how to work how to do shadow work and to work in the light as well if you are the priest, which is here, the priest is someone that wants to initiate or that is initiated into a um, an African traditional religion or African religious practice, for example, or you just may be initiated into a secret society, but you've initiated in some way or you are thinking about initiation. And if you are the priest, then you are trying to connect with gods. You're trying to connect with deities, energies, entities, supernatural beings, and you're trying to practice ancient spiritual traditions. And on your journey, it is your goal to keep your head and your mind clear. Okay. Now, if you are the psychic, the psychic is someone that's connected to the astral plane and they are blessed with supernatural senses like clairvoyance, clairaudience. Um, you may quote unquote call yourself an empath or you may have claircognizance and just know things. You um, may be someone that does divinations for people or you just are trying to advance the strength of your intuitive gifts. So if you are the psychic, then you're on a journey to balance between the physical world and the spiritual world, okay? And you need to learn how to exist in both places at the same time, all right? Now, I want you to go ahead, get your Florida water, get your tea light candle, and be ready to dive into this video, okay?
magic is an incredibly useful practice, okay? I I oh, I do magic every day. It has significantly transformed my life as you watch this video. You can see these candles burning. That's magic, okay? So you are probably asking yourself, am I ready to practice magic? And if you're watching this video, probably you may be, you may not be, but more than likely you're not ready, in my opinion. You're not ready to practice magic. But I'm not the authority. I'm not the authority. Um, or I'm, I'm, I'm not the authority on magic. I'm not the magic police. But um, let's let's just see, you know, what the spirits have to say to you all. For those of you interested in practicing, um, you know, in practicing magic, let's see what they have to say. So go ahead and you know pick the archetype that you want to be, because we're gonna start today with the psychic. Okay, so I'm gonna look and see what do the spirits have to say about the psychic. So if you're the psychic. Are you ready to practice magic? Okay, psychic, you are ready to practice magic. You are. But the, the spirits want you to focus on um, two types of spells. They want you to focus on cleansing spells, and they want you to focus on protection protection spells. Because they're saying that... Um, you you need to do you need to learn how to do a spiritual bath and you also need to know how, learn maybe how to sage yourself how to create a protection ritual or create a protection oil um for yourself because they're saying that you in these readings that you're giving to people um or the information like basically when you're conversing with other people you are taking on their energy and those people are taking that good energy that you give give to them they're not replacing it so they end up taking the good energy from you and then they give you their negative energy you end up sick so essentially they robbed you and they're the, the spirits walking with you are saying that that has to stop um, that they want you to focus a, a, as much as you can, again, on cleansing and protecting yourself from energies that want to drain you, okay? So continue doing the readings, continue talking to these people, continue healing them. Um, if you're a social worker or a therapist or a counselor or even just a good friend, now is the time for you to practice magic that is going to keep your spirits high, Okay. All right. So the other thing that I'm going to see um, that I'm seeing here, um, fi your finances. OK, so money magic, money magic would be good for you. OK, so psychic, I suggest you get a green candle. OK, and get and get some cinnamon, basil and bayberry, either the bayberry leaf or the bayberry oil. And you need to get to work. You need to put those herbs into that glass jar candle and you need to manifest for yourself some money because the spirits are saying that, you know, your money is your money's funny right now. And um, I do think that for you, it is time to practice magic. Now for the priest, we want to know, is it time for the priest to practice magic? Um, priest, it is, it is, it is not time for you to practice magic. You need to apprentice under your godfather, um, so that you can learn traditional, um, magical, uh, traditional magical practice. Now they're not saying that you can't do anything for yourself. They're just saying that you need more studying. If anything, I would, I see you doing, I see you working with crystals. Okay. So crystals, I would suggest you to do a, 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 a crystal magic. Get your crystal grid or start programming crystals to um, be, be uh, I guess you could say programming crystals to be, uh, I don't work with crystals, so I don't know what the fuck they really do. But I mean, I guess you can speak into the crystal programming and tell it to, you know, manifest whatever is under this particular card. But right now is not the time. Now is not the time because you are too, you don't know enough to safely practice it and i would say to you that after you have apprentice under your godfather or a mentor then you will be ready to do it now they're not telling you not to practice it because it's dangerous they're telling you to not not to practice it because it's going to be ineffective you don't you won't think that it's working and 
the spirits don't want you to start off on that foot with them, okay? They're also saying from this particular reading that for you, it's best to, for you, it's best to, like, how do I say this? You think that you may be thinking that magic has some inherently evil or dark component to it. So I think that you need to talk to your your godfather or your godmother uh, in detail about duality. Um, or maybe you should read. Um, it's a conjure hoodoo book. I can't remember the name of it. Um, uh, but if you ever book a reading with Peach Blossom, ask her what the name of that hoodoo book is because she'll give it to you. Uh, it's an amazing book. OK, so um, they're saying that you have to better you have to work on establishing healthier boundaries with friends and family that as of right now you are in the dark about wanting to practice magic and get into it you're not ready to tell your friends and family that you do it and i have to say to you it's probably not the best time for you to practice it because you need to do work spiritual work for your friends and for your family first so you're going to do it for yourself and then you're going to do it for your friends and family as well okay but you got to stand up to your fears. You have to face your fears first because if you don't, your magic is going to be ineffective. Your intentions will not be continued. I, I, the best way that I can put this, I can say that your intentions will not be – your intentions will not um, – you need – there needs to be continuity in, in, the, in the positivity that you apply to your intentions. So – that being said, sometimes you'll second guess yourself or out of fear, repress, um, repress the desire to practice magic because you don't want other people to think that you're doing the devil's work. OK, so finally, for the witch, we're going to see what for you. What do they have to say for you now, which I kind of expect you to be already practicing magic. So I'm surprised that you may be watching this video. All right. Which are you? Is it time for you to do magic? And one last shuffle, which. Similar to the priest, but it's different. No, is not the time. No, it's not the time to practice magic. Um, you need to study magic. You need to study how people used magic. You need to study the history of magic. You need to study the history of hoodoo before you start practicing it. You need to know how the people, you know, why was it created? Why did the people use it? What did they use it for? For the for people that 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 don't work in the spiritual or metaphysical community how do they interpret magic how are their interpretations of magic different than than the interpretations uh, generated from the people that actually do the work okay so you need to study those things in depth and until you do that your, your magic is not going to work. And they're saying that, that you've been practicing without actually studying. And you have to do it in a traditional way. You can't just go into this field and start just making shit up. That's why it's been ineffective for you. It is time for you to practice magic. Yes, but I mean, it's not time for you to practice magic. It's not time. The spirits are correcting me. It's not time for you to practice magic. Much more studying is required. Okay? Much, much more studying. Um... They're saying that instead of you trying to think about practicing magic, maybe you should just get, a, you know, maybe you should just focus on having a regular job at this time. I think that what the spirits want to bring to you and what they're trying to tell you right now is that the best thing that you can do is focus on maybe using your magic to get another job, another job, praying to get another job. Now, I just told you not to do magic, but you're probably going to do it anyway because you're going to be defiant. So if you do something, try to acquire, try to land another job. But I see here that the spirits are telling you that you have a business to get started. And perhaps this business is doing spiritual work for other people and being a magician um, for them, uh, uh, being a magician that will that does spiritual work for them. And you make your money in that way. But if you can't make if you can't manifest things in your life right now for yourself then you definitely can't do that for your clients so you're just setting yourself up for failure and you're going to desecrate 
the practice. I, I that's why they said you need to study it. Study it to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Study it to make sure that you're doing it in the way that will and do it do it in a way that will continue to glorify and expand the legitimacy of the practice to where people will start to respect it, okay? And that's my advice for you. So fuel my fire, take me high, I'll be your liar too. Cause when we're here, there's nothing better than the skyline.